Hi guys, I'm Amanda. And I'm Ella. And welcome to Play It Forward, Please. Today we are going to be showing you how to make the bullseye from your technique card. Feel free to follow along. I'm gonna start my bullseye from the shoulder, but you can do it anywhere. Ella, where are you gonna do yours? I'm going to do it from the stomach. All right, so let's pull it into a long tail. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your first step is going to be to put rubber bands all the way down it. You can do it anywhere you want and as many as you want. There's no rules with that. The only rule is that you have to make sure that the rubber bands are as tight as possible. Otherwise, the dye will come shooting out and it won't stay bright white. So we want to make sure we have a nice contrast. So one thing I like to do once I get towards the middle is when I add them to the other side, I flip it around so that way we can have them coming from this way and then you don't have to go through so much fabric. Makes they, it easier, right? Yeah, that's smart. Okay, so we'll start from here. Go from the other side. And remember, you can have one, two, three, four, five, or you could have like a hundred if you really want. Just keep putting them on there because the more rubber bands you have, the more lines it's going to make in your bullseye. Mm -hmm. So it depends if you want more white or more color. Both ways are fun. How are you doing? You doing good? Oh, yeah. you are already done. <laughs> well, Miss Ella. Okay, and remember too, whatever size shirt you use, you're going to need more rubber bands if it's a bigger shirt or less okay. if it's a smaller thing like a bandana. Okay, so now what's the next step? We have to make it into a cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. So just you're going to make a little twist. So Ella is going to be making the bullseye. Slash. And I am making the hashtag. So for the slash, you need how many rubber bands? You need only one. To go across the center. And for, mm -hmm. the, for the hashtag, you're going to need four. So two that are up and down, also known as vertical. And then we're going to do two across, which are also known as horizontal. So we're gonna do one, two. And remember when you're rolling, it has to fit in your orb, so you wanna keep it nice and tight. So if it's a little too big, you can always just squeeze it once you get it in the orb. Okay, so I have all of mine. So now, the next step, once you're all banded up, so there's mm -hmm. her one slash, and here's the four for the hashtag, mm -hmm. we're going to unlock the yellow parts on your orb. So Ella is going to be using the test beginners one. So she's going to be using that kit, and I am using the design station. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be putting mine into the big design station, and she's going to be shaking it right like that. Mm -hmm. So you want to put your piece in. Remember, it is fabric, so you can squeeze it, move it as you need to. You want to make sure it's in there nice and tight. See, I have some hanging out that's not going to work, because then it's going to spill. And the whole point of this is for it to be mess free. So you want to make sure everything stays into the orb. So you're going to put your little locking pieces on. You got it in there nice and good, Ella? Yeah. All right. Sometimes it takes a minute. You got to make sure you get it in there good. There. Perfect. So now I'm going to move the station closer to me, so that way it's easier. Ella's almost done. She just had to add the pink yeah. piece. So you put it in there, and then screw these on. You want to make sure these are really tight so that the all of the dye stays in there. And then you're gonna put this on here. And we can use this little handle as like a screwdriver almost. Okay. And I'll wait for Miss Ella to get hers done. All right, there. perfect. It's nice and tight in there. Mm -hmm. So we already prepped all of our dye ahead of time. So if you need more um, information on how to do that, you can watch our tips and tricks video. Mm -hmm. But since ours is ready to go, I'm just gonna take them out here so you can see what I'm doing really well. And I am going to be using the blue and the yellow. What colors are you using? I'm using blue and red. All right. So now just give them a little shake, 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 shake. Ooh. Make sure they're nice and mixed. Woo! <laughs> and the cool thing too is you can use this almost like a stand. It stands up on its own. Mm -hmm. All right. So then we are going to put the lighter color first. Okay. So get your lighter one. Exactly. And then you start squeezing it into your orb. Remember, the more color, the more covered it is. And what's the fabulous thing about this too, Ella? It's my favorite part and also it's really cool because all the colors, they like mix together and then it looks like a really cool tie-dye shirt. And remember, the more dye you put in, the more dyed your piece will be. So just keep on going. So with the starter kit that Ella has, you can shake it. So I'll show them how you shake it. Okay. Yeah, shake, shake. shake it, and then you can swish your dye around. And with mine, you can use the handle. And one of my favorite things to do is you can actually make it stand up too by doing oh, just like this. That's Isn't that so cool? cool? So 
you can get all the different angles. So let's do another color now. We'll add okay. our second color in. So you can add your color. Now this is what makes it really fun and look tie-dyed, is just having all kinds of different colors in different spots. And the good thing about having all these rubber bands is it's gonna keep it nice and white. So add a few more drops of color. I'm liking how mine is. How about you, Ella? Are you liking yours? Yeah, it's so pretty. It's, right? Isn't it fun? Mm -hmm. After you have all the dye in that you want, you're just gonna give it a little shake or a twist. So with the starter kit like Ella has, you're gonna shake, shake, shake. And with the design studio, you're gonna give it a little spin. After this, you're gonna let it sit for six to eight hours. Then you're gonna take your orb, unscrew the pink parts, stick it right in the sink and rinse it out. After that, you can either leave it to dry or put it in the dryer. And then, thanks to YouTube magic, our finished pieces will look like this. I'm Amanda. And I'm Ella. And remember to play it forward, please. Thanks for watching.